All right, guys, we're going to sterilize some popcorn, get them into some quart jars, do the no pressure cooker sterilization method. One of these bags doesn't necessarily have to be this brand. It could be any regular popcorn kernels will work for this. This will make about three of these. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bust this open. We're gonna get it into some water. We're gonna boil it for a little bit. We are gonna clean these really well. Even though we're technically sterilizing them, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, each one of these We'll put warm water in it. I'll put some soap in it. And when I start the boil, we're going to let it sit inside the uh, sink with the hot water in it. It will stay like that until we are ready to use them. We'll dump it out, clean it again. I kind of overkill it because I am uh, I'm afraid of doing all the work and then not getting uh, any return from it. So I am overly cautious. I tend to clean things probably a little bit more than you need to when you're dealing with this kind of stuff. It is definitely better safe than sorry. Over cleaning is what we will do. So uh, again, we're gonna take this popcorn, we're gonna boil it. You're gonna dump it in there. We'll bring it up to a boil. After that, we're gonna take it, put it in the sink in a colander, about 45 minutes, let it uh, air dry. And then what we're gonna do is take a little bit of it and put it on a paper towel and see how dry it is. If 45 minutes should be good enough. If it's still a little too wet, we'll let it sit a little bit longer, but we don't want to put it with too much moisture into here. So yeah. Definitely give you a lot of problems. So you want to have it just right. We'll get into exactly how to tell when the best time uh, to put those in there, how you test it. And I'll be honest with you, all this stuff that, I, uh, that, that I'm learning from, uh, that I'm using, uh, I learned from um, 90 Second Mycology. Uh, he's really got some good videos, uh, really no knowledgeable guy. Uh, I am taking literally a page out of his book and we are taking his steps that he exactly uses and that's how we're going to do this. If you don't like what you see, you don't like how I do it, definitely go check him out. He's got some great videos. We're doing exactly how he does it. We're gonna have our unmodified lids. We'll take this. They will go upside down and then tight, tighten. Uh, this doesn't create a hermetic seal so it's able to still breathe. The sterilization, once we get to that point, if you have it sealed completely, uh, it has a chance to explode. It's not gonna be able to off gas. As well as when you have all of your stuff colonizing in there, uh, it's gonna put off gases. It needs to be able to breathe. We'll get into all of that, but this is what you're gonna need. We've got some jars. And honestly, I don't always use these quart jars. I personally like to use the half gallon. Gallon thing. In that uh, idea is one of these bags gives me one half gallon and then about one of these quart jars. So we'll get down to that. Um, and I think that's all, that's all we got on here. You're gonna need the quart jars, your lids, uh, your rings, and your popcorn. Let's get this going. This is my uh, my pot that I use for all my all my goodies here. And what we're gonna do? Is dump it in. All right. Maybe an inch or so above, above the popcorn line. That should do. All right. We're gonna put it on there. We're gonna bring that up to a boil and then uh, back it down to a simmer. And that simmer is what we're gonna be doing for two hours. Um, we're gonna cover it up um, and then we'll, uh, we'll take it from there. All right. Still waiting on it to come up to a boil. Um, but one thing I like to do is we're gonna get in here and we're gonna mix it up uh, as often as possible. I do not want to burn any of those kernels. Ooh, we're getting fogged up. So I don't want any of those kernels to start to burn and get stuck to the bottom. So I'll come over here every couple minutes, stir it up, put that back on. And we're still waiting for that to come up to a boil, and then uh, we're gonna let that simmer for a little bit. All right, we're taking our jars. 
And like I said, I like to let these soak with some water in there while we're waiting on their time. Just filling them up. Not really anything crazy. Probably don't even have to do this, but this is just one of those things where I'd do it. And again, these are just sitting here. Just like that, until I'm ready to use them. And then we're gonna clean them even more. Use some alcohol to get that off, but all right. There we go. And those will just sit here until we're ready for them. Woo! All right, we are at a boil. So for me, my simmer is around three, three or four. And then we're going to start the timer right now we brought it up to a boil and then now we are going to simmer it for one hour then we will drain it off and uh, start the process there now we're going to prep the colander for our grain to dry again i probably do a little bit overkill but i don't like putting all this effort in it to not work out so i rather just go with a few extra steps make sure it's clean the way we're setting ourselves up for success all right that is clean we've got i think uh about 10 more minutes on the uh on the grains here, been coming over here every once in a while, stirring it. As you can see, it's not boiling. We're wanting it to simmer for an hour. I actually think I got just about the right amount of water. If we had to go any longer, we would have been in trouble, but we're doing good. A Little bit longer, we will bring it over here and let it air dry. So from here, we're dumping it in there, letting it air dry. Uh, but before I dump it in, uh, I'm spraying it down with 70% uh, uh, alcohol. I use that stuff like it's going out of style. So again, just taking that one little extra step to make sure that we are absolutely clean. Yeah, a little extra. It should be ready very soon. All right, guys. It has been one hour that we've been simmering. Again, I'm coming in here 70%. Letting that sit, we're dumping her in there. Woo. All right, we've now got that. I'm gonna take my tool, we're gonna clean her off. Again, this is probably way overkill but this is what I've done and I've had success with it. So I will keep doing the same thing. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of flattening everything out. So everything should dry about the same. All right, 45 minutes. We're gonna start timer now. It has been 45 minutes. We are taking our paper towel. I'm gonna mix this up just a little bit so we make sure that we're not getting just a nice dry top layer. We're getting a good test. We're taking just a little bit and we're just gonna put it on there. And we'll be back to check that. We're gonna see uh, how wet the paper towel is and uh, that will determine if we're ready to move to the next step. Also, the way that we test if these are done, try to squish it, doesn't squish. Good, we're gonna take it and bite it. We took a bite of it and then now we're going to squish. And if it crushes under that, which it did, we're in good shape. We did something right. Now we're just waiting to see how moist that towel is. And it's actually looking pretty good. 
I'm not seeing any, so I think we're ready for the next step. Now, since I put my dirty fingers on these, we will not use this. That's gonna get thrown away. Our grain's ready. Time to get these prepped. We're gonna wash them again. We're gonna rinse them out, wash them, clean this out, and get it ready for our uh, two hours. Yes, two hours. Uh, we're going to steam sterilize it. This is getting all that soap out, getting all that stuff out for our initial soak that we did. Let's get in there and make some soup. And to be redundant, we're gonna... This is not a um, sponge that I use for you know everyday things. This was one that I just specifically pulled out for this um, type of work. So uh, it's not all nasty from our every, everyday use. So we're getting that inside scrubbed down. Getting the outside. Everything just clean, clean, clean. All right, y'all, I'm gonna finish cleaning these and then we will be back. We've got everything washed, rinsed. We're gonna move it over to here to our little workstation. We're gonna all sit here, get some paper towels. There we go. All right. Let's clean all this off. Getting these all nice and dry. And this is the last time that we will have these open like this. Okay, that's just the answer. All right. Uh, before we put the grains in there. All right, and like I said, probably don't have to do this, but again, I am overly cautious of everything. I like to spray everything down. We will, while we are working with things, at least with this, we'll, that will sit there and soak. Remember, we're still sterilizing it, so really this is uh, totally overkill. But again, this is what I've done, I've had success with. Until I uh, don't have success, we're gonna keep doing the same thing. Just because it has worked well for me so far. And again, I haven't been doing this long. I'm not gonna pretend or claim that I know uh, everything. Because I definitely don't, but I'm going to at least share what little knowledge that I do have. We're going to give it a go. And I enjoy making these videos for y'all. It's something that uh, gives me a little bit of peace in making them. I enjoy it. We're going to load these up. We're going to put all of this into all three. Just put it in equally. Stop there for right now. And once we get these all loaded up, they are going to go into the pot we're gonna create a little shelf in there to keep them uh, off the the bottom of the pot it all loaded up maybe a little bit more than we put in there pretty darn close is the gamble gonna pay off let's see let's see how much we lose in this we're almost there We are filled and we are set. Pretty darn close. We're gonna take a little bit out of here, kind of distribute it into this one, I think, and they should all be equal. We are all set here. We are getting the lids on. We are not creating a seal on these. So what we're doing is putting them on upside down. We'll still allow the jars to breathe. These all moved off to the side. All right, all of our jars are filled. We are going to prep them to go in our sterilization. So I am creating what is a uh, basically a, a dust cover over our caps, right? So we're putting that on. These aren't needed, um, but a good little extra protective layer uh, we will be uh,
putting them in that uh, pot to be sterilized. And with that water, it creates a lot of condensation. It's covering these jars and we don't want any of that liquid going back inside. Now, like I said, we don't want these tight. We want them to breathe. So from the way that I was taught, we've got it loose. You're going to tighten it just like that. Once that jar moves, that's as tight as it needs to go. Just finger tight. Boom, those are done. They are ready to go inside our pot here. Let's get this ready. I gotta go grab some of the, uh, the lids and we'll be back to set this up. We've got our lids. We're going to set these up to keep our jars off of the bottom of the pot while this boils. So use it to sterilize our jars. And what the plan is, is we will fill this up right till it gets just a little bit above the lids. From my understanding, you're okay to fill this up until it's about an inch up the side of the jars. We're gonna go ahead and call it good. Right there. Got the water. Taking our jars. I think we probably still could fill it up a little bit more. Remember, this is gonna be going for two hours. So we need to make sure that there's enough water in there going, and not dry out. I think that should be good. We're gonna turn this up. We'll check back in a little bit. All right, guys, it is up to a rolling boil and we backed it down to just a simmer. Two hours, we're gonna let that simmer for leave this on and we'll check it every once in a while make sure that that water hasn't gotten too low but uh, I have not had any issues out of it yet uh, and this will be my third time sterilizing jars to do popcorn each time I've done uh, I think three or four at a time this has worked out so well uh, that this is my uh, preferred method I've tried the Uncle Ben's uh, I did four of them and they all got contaminated uh, before that, I had used ones that were just pre-made by somebody. Popcorn, uh, no pressure cooker sterilization has been my method that has worked for me. This is what I'm sticking with. We will check this back in two hours. What happens from here is we turn it off, we'll push it back, and it will stay like this until tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, before I go to work, I will just make sure that those lids are on uh, properly, and we'll relocate them, and then tomorrow night or saturday we will inoculate them all right guys it's done boiling and uh we are just gonna leave the lid on there and put it off to the side we will uh open it up and move the jars around in the morning and uh then we'll get them ready for inoculating it's been overnight we're gonna take everything out everything's cooled down i'm gonna take each one out Get rid of that. And then I'm just gonna tighten these jars and give them a shake. We'll just kind of loosen those up a little bit. Tighten them up. Give them a good shake. Not too much moisture left in there. I'm gonna have I've noticed, at least with the ones that I've done, they have a little bit of moisture in there, but it's not too bad. And shaking it up is kind of moving all that moisture around. It looks pretty good. And then of course, making sure that that lid's not too tight is gonna allow these to breathe, so they will let some of that moisture out. But otherwise, that's it, y'all. We have successfully made our own jars to inoculate Thanks for joining me on this. I hope you found it helpful, enjoyed it, or didn't, whatever. Later.